Let's say you are a high school student or even a graduate and you watch some movies or read some science fiction literature or even watched a video regarding robots and you are extremely motivated then you decided to become a robotics engineer. Until this point everything is really awesome. But then you went online and I asked Google about how to become a robotics engineer and you found this. I'm not sure about you guys but if I'm a high school student who just watched my favorite Iron Man movie and then I'm reading this then I think there will be no more Iron Man. I'll rather crawl back into my bed. AKA this information is just too much. There is no structure, it's very vague and it's 100% scary for any beginner. And as a result there are hundreds of comments asking only one question and that is what can I do to become a robotics engineer. After having several conversations with you guys what I've realized is majority of you are trying to get into robotics purely because of the science fiction and that's absolutely fine. I think that's much better because it's much more fun when you are working in the robotics. But what happens is when you try to go online you kind of get scared of the information like all those big words, kinematics, pneumatics, specifically for the high school student who have no idea what these things are. So here's what we'll be doing. We'll take a step back and try to understand what exactly robotics is because there is still a lot of misunderstanding in that context and once we are on the same page then we'll slowly build up on top of that. And I'm pretty sure by the end of this video you will have a much better understanding of what robotics is and which domain you think will be the best fit for you. So let's do that. A robot is a robot if it has three main things. Perception, decision making also known as brains and the last one is action. And if you plan to become a robotics engineer, you will be working in either of these three areas. So pay very close attention. Perception is all about how we perceive the world and that's exactly what we are trying to teach robots. For example, we humans have eyes to look at the surrounding. Robots have cameras, lidars and radars. We use our skin to feel the sense of touch. Robots use sensors. We use ears to listen and mouth to talk. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Robots use mic to listen and speakers to talk. So in short, perception is all about working with different types of sensors and cameras which can allow robots to understand its surrounding. This is what I would call the brains of the robots which makes decisions based on the data collected from the sensors from the perception stage. These decisions can be very simple like yes or no or they can be very complex. For example, in real world the decision making process is quite complex like navigating in an uncertain environment, landing a robot on an unknown planet with a high precision, drilling and collecting the samples of the taste and so on. And that is why we use sophisticated techniques like computer vision, natural language processing which involves deep neural networks to develop the best brains possible for the robot. This is personally my favorite part because this is where we get to see the robots performing an action in the real world. So this is all about robotics in a nutshell. And this is all you need to know if you are just getting started. Now as we are all on the same page, the next question you might be struggling with is how shall we get started with it? So that's something which we are going to cover in the next video. You know, just to allow your brain to digest this information nicely. I would encourage you to go through this information again and again and see which aspect of these three stages fascinates you the most. And that can be your starting point. Don't worry too much about it because you might not like it after a certain amount of time but that's absolutely fine. The idea in here is to allow you to explore all the three aspects of robotics 
and find that one sweet spot which you would like to dedicate all of your time. That's it. And feel free to let me know if this level of explanation is simple enough or shall I dial it down more or is it too simple, shall I make it a little bit complex. We will be going into the details in upcoming videos but yeah, just let me know in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, just keep doing whatever you're doing and stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.